Hello, hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you are doing well at home. Welcome back to my class. So children, today we are going to start worksheet or workbook. And the essay one syllabus is worksheet number 2 and worksheet number 3. Alright, so let's get started today. Worksheet number 2. The night. The sun that shines all day so bright. I wonder where he goes at night. So what does it mean? The sun comes in the day, right? And it shines so brightly. And as night comes, the sun hides. He sings behind a distant hill. And all the world grows dark and still. During the night time, the sun will be hiding behind a hill and the world grows dark and then I go to bed and sleep until the day begins to peep then as the night comes I will go to bed and sleep until the day comes and when my eyes I open I see the sun is shining down on me so the next morning you will be waking up right when you wake up, you will be seeing the sun again shining down. While we are fast asleep in bed, the sun must go. I have heard it said to other countries far away. While we will be sleeping on the other countries, it will be a day. Alright, then to make them warm and bright and gay. I do not know but hope the sun... When all his nighty work is done, will not forget to come again and wake me through the window pane. So, the sun never forgets his duty. During the night, he hides and again in the morning, he comes. So, he, the sun is following its duty. So, that was in the passage. Children, distant is nothing but far away. Your peep is nothing but to look at something quickly and secretly. Your gay is nothing but happy and full of fun. Nightly means something that happens in the night. And window pane is nothing but windows that are made of glass. So now based on that you will be having a bit reading. Choose the correct answers. First one at night. The sun Sinks into the sea, sinks behind a hill or hides behind the clouds. Yes, the correct answer is sinks behind a hill. Second one. The speaker goes to sleep when the world becomes dark and quiet. The day begins to peep or his eyes begin to close. The correct answer is the world becomes dark and quiet. Third. While the speaker is asleep, the sun goes to visit other children to visit other countries or home to sleep. Yes, the correct option is to visit other countries. Fourth one, the speaker hopes the sun will come again to wake him the next morning, will go to other countries or will forget to come again. Yes, the correct answer is will come again to wake him the next morning. All right. Next, Bibit, find a word from the poem that means goes down. Here, goes down is nothing but sinks. S-I-N-K-S, sinks. To not remember is nothing but forget. F-O-R-G-E-T, forget. Now, children, please turn the page. Let us see, match the nouns in A with the correct pronouns in B. Here, one column is of Nouns and the other is of pronouns. Now you have to match. Butterfly. Butterfly. Whenever animal names comes or non-living thing name comes, you have to use it. Next, postman. Postman is nothing but male. Gents. So we have to use here he. Whereas Priya, name of a girl, you have to use she. Sister and brother, they. And Rajiv and I. Whenever I and some other person comes, you have to use we. Alright. Next, look at the underlined words in the first sentence and then circle the word in the second sentence that replaces the underlined words. Now, 
Ramya and I go to the beach every day. We play on the beach. Here Ramya and I. Whenever I with the other person is compared, you have to use we and you have to circle. In the sentence, second sentence. Second one. Suresh took dance lessons. He can dance very well. In place of Suresh, we are writing he. You have to circle because Suresh is the name of a boy, right? So that's why we have to use here he. A giraffe eats grass and leaves. It runs fast. Here a giraffe, as I said to you, whenever the animal name comes, you have to use it here. So that's why I have circled it. Next, my aunt and uncle live in the village. They grow their own fruits and vegetables. Here two person, more than one person comes. We have to use here they. All right. Next comes again the measure animals to the correct sounds. Here is the animals and here is the sounds. You have to match them. Here the donkey. Donkey says hee ha hee ha. He ha he ha is nothing but braise. All right. Next, frog. Frog says crocs crocs. You have to match. Then line says rose. All right. Next, owl says hoot 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 hoot. Next, here the bird says bird or parrot. You can say. So what does it say? Quacks. Next. The horse says, Nah. All right, you have to match like this. Next, rewrite these sentences. No need to learn these children punctuation marks. All right, but you know this whenever the starting letter comes, you have to use capital letter, and whenever name of a person, animal, thing, or place name comes, you have to use capital letters. And at the end of the sentence, you have to add full stop. Okay? Understood, children? And let us see here, writing part, the last bit. Look at this picture and write a few sentences. Playground, playing on swing, man watering plants, girl holding balloons, ice cream, cellar, boy feeding fish, boy flying kite, and boy playing on slide. This one is also not necessary, children. Alright, this is the writing part. But you have to complete this writing word in the workbook. Alright children, so that's all for today. Please do practice well. That's all. Take care. Bye-bye.